Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. So I had to get back to this Isaiah 4 and 1. Um, but I want to start this out by answering a question. Nobody want to go to power is out as far as the lights. Look like Walgreens power is out too. And the question that a lot of people be wanting to know is, do I respect marriage? Of course I do. But I don't respect bad marriage. I don't respect, man, we're just going to work it out. I don't believe that a guy should stay with a woman who physically cheats on him because she's there to help him. How does that help him? So when they do drastic things not to help you, me knowing that they're supposed to be a helpmate, no. I do respect the unicorn, and I think the marriage is for the unicorn. And I definitely respect the unicorn and this bees that way her whole life. No woman going to be perfect, man. That's not the point. They don't have to be perfect. But they have to be certain things. They have to be faithful. They have to be loyal. They have to keep their hands to themselves, their mouth to themselves. They have to. You know? Because women don't... See, here's the difference. A lot of guys will be... And it's not right for you to lie to women. Y'all know how I feel about that. I say just practice polygyny. If you can't handle having one, just practice polygyny. But when guys cheat, a lot of time their behavior really won't change. You know, they might be kind of off in space and stuff like that. But when a woman cheats, the fights increase. That's how you know. I'm telling you. you one, if you suspicious of your woman, let me ask you this. Has she been more argumentative? Has she been more critical? Um, if she has, though, to me, those are indicators that it might be another bull in the ring. But see... I respect marriage, but I don't trust marriage. And I don't think marriage is the way that guys should feel they have to go. Say, but I want kids, though. See, you got to be careful with church folk, man. Because church folk will lead you into something without an instruction guide. Like marriage. Are oh, you shacking up and all this stuff and all that? And then you get married and you say, well, nah, I can't be with her. And now you in court trying to just just have a morsel of money left to yourself because the court as long as the court is still punishing men for their relationships going bad i ain't i don't trust marriage and i don't believe in it like that but i do respect a good marriage between two cooperative individuals and i definitely respect uh women who are in polygynous relationship and they cooperate with each other. They definitely deserve respect. Because a lot of women is out here taking their kids away from their daddies over mere encounters that it don't even result in like marriage and stuff like that. I hate when the police over here because you just never know when they gonna get bored. So, I'm going to make this quick. I'm going to make this quick. There's it's somebody right here. Uh, of course, I respect marriage and stuff like that. But I don't respect every marriage, and I don't believe in every marriage. In fact, I believe that most marriages are bad, and, and they would be divorced if somebody wasn't refusing to leave for one reason or another. Their behaviors in most marriages warrant divorce. But let's get into Isaiah 4 and 1. Isaiah 4 and 1 says, In that day, seven women will take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own food, wear our own clothes, only let us be called by your name, take away our disgrace. The disgrace is all these videos, all this divesting stuff, all these videos on YouTube, on Instagram, where these women, instead of saying, you know what, you right. They bite back, so to speak. That's the disgrace, and, and guys are saying that 
And they like, you know what, man? I'm cool by myself. I got my little apartment. I got my gym membership. I go do what I want to do. I ain't got no woman chirping at me, arguing with me. All of this is going to lead to y'all. Y'all going, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Y'all going to see that a lot of this stuff, a lot of these attitudes are just not worth it. Like a lot of women, they finally get the money, but they still lonely because now they judging guys by how much money they have instead of by how they would treat them. You know, you okay, you got all that money, okay. What you gonna do with it? You gonna leave it to your dog? Come on now. Come on. They say, well, I ain't having kids. And I mean, and that's your choice. I don't knock that choice. You know, I'm glad I had kids, but I don't knock that choice. Especially the way things are out here now. It's a lot, I'm telling you, you be, y'all y'all just don't understand how it be like when people don't be treating your kids right. People who got kids know what, I, what, I, what I'm talking about. When you know your kids don't bother nobody, they good kids, and it's always that person that just do not treat your kids right. You know, so it ain't all peaches and cream with kids. You know, that's, it just, that's just how it is. And so you always got to know what's going on with your kids, even when they grow up. Even when they grow up, your kids should be like, like my sons, they have no problem coming to me and their mother about when something is going wrong. And that's how it should be. You should be looking for advice. See, that's what's wrong with some of these young people now. They they think they know everything. You're too young to know. You ain't even experienced half of this stuff. You ain't even experienced half of the stuff you're going to deal with in life. So you should be seeking advice from people who already know, just like with this relationship stuff. Y'all think, oh, man, these dudes, man, I don't, I don't be listening to that. Okay. Okay. I don't be listening to that. You know what, man? You don't have to, man. I don't be listening to that. Okay. Go find out if we wrong or not. Because one thing is for certain, any dissenter against my opinion and any dissenter against the information that I've shared being married over 20 some odd years what can I say find out find out if I'm wrong or if I'm right see and this is what y'all don't realize too a woman don't have to be a bad woman to change her mind about you those emotions run wild that's just how it is and it ain't even always because of something you did it just happens that way and sometimes it, like they say, choose better. I mean, in some cases it might be true, but I don't think that you really can gauge it because some women that switch up what they are at 21, they're not gonna be that at 31, 41. Like they start getting older, they be wanting validation. Why you think these older women, watch this, watch this, watch this. Why you think some of them be out here, they could be like 45, 50 years old. They know they got a big old booty. So they wearing the same clothes them young girls wear. They draw, trying to draw that attention. That's that bait. And like I told y'all, you, you got better be like that fish to know the difference between bait and food. Something he should be eating, something he should be running from. Every big, like, remember the, remember, uh, Belle Belle DeVoe? That girl is poison. Don't trust a big button to smile. I mean, hey, it's, hey, I could say it's been some truth to that through the years. Like, looking back, it's been some truth to that. It has. It has. And, and I'm going to tell you something else. Them red, them light brushes, them red bones. 
And they, they, you know, they hit kind of different now. They be setting dudes up. I mean, they was always doing that, you know, but like, it's not really, it doesn't matter as much as it, put it this way. In the 90s, anybody in Milwaukee, it's, it's content creators that's from Milwaukee. They know I'm right. In the 90s, that, that, that light skin was, was something different. Like a lot of them, not all, but a lot of them were more mild mannered. You know, they weren't. A lot of them, not all, were weren't like 304s. It was different. Now, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I know. I know because hey, I hey, you talk to people sometimes, you find things out. You find things out. Them light brights ain't loyal like that. Like they probably was back then. I got my ways of knowing. We ain't gonna talk about everything, but all you gotta do sometimes is have conversations and you find out. Like that's always been one of my, one of the things where I learn things. I learn from, I had conversations and I spend most of my time listening so I can dissect. And every time I dissect, it don't be like me talking. Sometimes I could be dissecting somebody inside and not even say anything. You gotta watch out for these chicks that be having husband and boyfriends and they be trying to, what that got to do with me? What that got to do with you? You, you gonna tell them? Not worth it, man. Don't be a sucker. To me, use a chump. If you know that this, especially if they living with somebody and you sitting around going along, well, just tell them, just tell them you going. Dude, you, you need to get more savvy than that, man. You need to get, you need to be stronger than that in, in your masculinity, man. You shouldn't have to lie and put up with lies to uh, get girls to do what you want them to do. Yeah, right here, coming out. Man. But it's coming to pass, man. Isaiah four and one is coming to pass. You better get with the program. I mean, you should want to be with somebody, and it shouldn't matter. See, y'all, where y'all women mess up. Y'all act like y'all got to control every centimeter of nut that comes out of a man. And y'all getting mad when y'all can't. I saw a funny video. One of the reasons why it was so funny to me is because I know that's how they really be, how she kicked in his door because it sounded like he was in there getting, getting it going, getting one off. She had put on her boots. She was like, oh, hell no. And kicked the, <laughs> kicked the door in. That video was just funny to me, man. That's how they be, though, man. They'll take, you ain't never seen your kid. I'm going to take you for everything you got. Just because he got with somebody else for a second. Now, where I say you guys need to stop lying to these women. They should know what you're doing. You need to have more game than that. You say, well, game don't work the same. And you're right, but it still work. If you saying it don't, I know you ain't got none. You ain't got none. You know, some guys say, man, forget all that. I just want X, Y, Z. Okay. Okay. But this is how I think. I can't understand a guy that says, with every woman he meets, that's all he wants. You're scared of getting hurt. You'll never wanna wanna be around, enjoy a female company or something like that. I just wanna F, I just wanna F. So with every girl you just wanna F, you've been hurt. That's why they be on here saying who hurt you. It's not even always a who hurt you thing. 
But that's why they be saying that because these guys, when you say that, okay, let's say, okay, you find a unicorn, right? So that's all you want to do? Come on, man, y'all trip. I don't believe you. Only way I believe you is if you got some type of trauma that is still there or something. You 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 really are hurt, man. You 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 know something going on with you. That should be the main. I can see if that's the main thing. But when you say it's the only thing, let's say you run run across five women. And that's all you think about with five. Let's say you run across ten. That's all you thinking about with ten. Something ain't right. What if you coming across unicorns? What if you coming across the one that can benefit you? You say, well, she got to do this, this, this. Okay, what if she willing to do it? Well, I just want to f. Something wrong with you. I don't believe you. I don't. Now, most women. The entitlement, the entitled princess and stuff like that, I get what you're saying. But me personally, if I don't like you, I'm not going to want to go there with you. That's just me. I'm not. Because, I okay, if I'm getting bad vibes, and let's say it's a reason, let's say you got that bad S-E actual energy. Man, all kind of stuff be happening to people. Y'all yeah, saw the dude to say his wife was coming back from cheating on him, got in a, a car accident, was paralyzed, and he was getting revenge on her by, because she had the videos on her phone, what she was doing with the guy, and he made her watch it every day. I wouldn't do all that, man. Just don't, if you feel that way, man, just don't take care of her, man. Put her in the home. Put her in the home. It is a pretty bad thing when you got to take care of somebody or when somebody has mounting medical costs that hasn't loved you, hasn't shown you respect. That's why you need to get out of these relationships when they go bad. Because you, you, that's the worst. That's got to be the pitch. You got to take care of a woman that didn't take care of you. That's got to be the pitch. But anyway, I'm gone. This is the truth, man. Thanks for watching.